First at six, who is to blame for the murder of a toddler, police say, at the hands of his mother? New questions tonight about whether the state could have done more. Three-year-old Alphonse Gonzalez and his mother were known to authorities responsible for protecting the state's most vulnerable children. Yet tonight, his grandmother insists the state could have done and should have done more. CBS 4's Gary Nelson is covering our top story live at the jail where the boy's mother is being held. Gary. Well, DCF has a long and not always proud history of protecting Florida's at-risk kids. And it's catching heat now after the stabbing death of this toddler homestead. 22-year-old Nathalie Ramos and Alphonse, her two-year-old son, who she allegedly murdered, stabbed to death Sunday morning, were on DCF's radar weeks before the boy's murder. Gigi Ramos, the child's grandmother, says her daughter had a drug problem and mental illness. I won't never accept what my daughter did, because I think as a mother, you cannot even hurt your kids without you can never hurt your kids. The grandmother says she called DCF in mid-January, saying she feared Nathalie might harm her son. Nathalie entered into this child safety agreement with DCF. The boy was given over to the care of his grandmother and uncle, but DCF allowed Nathalie unlimited visitation with her son. Gigi Ramos says she repeatedly warned DCF that Nathalie was dangerous and her warnings were ignored. DCF told us that any time she wants to see the baby, she was allowed to come in my house as long as she don't take the baby out. She says she called DCF even the night before Alphonse was killed and received no response. DCF confirms in January it was in the early stages of a protection investigation for Alphonse, telling us in a statement, Alphonse was placed with his family so his uncle and grandmother could safely care for him during the investigation. As for the grandmother's pleas that Nathalie be kept away from her son, the agency said the department is not a law enforcement agency and does not have the legal authority to limit parents' access to their children. But DCF routinely gets court orders separating children from unfit parents. DCF wouldn't listen to me, wouldn't answer my phone calls, wouldn't answer my messages. Okay, my, my grandbaby will be alive right now. Miami-Dade state attorney stopped just short of criticizing DCF. Everybody in the state of Florida counts on government to protect its most vulnerable. And it, obviously, when we see children uh, dying like this, it does nothing but really strike at the heart of who we are. Nathalie Ramos remains jailed without bond. And if convicted, is looking at penalties up to life in prison. We're live in West Miami-Dade. Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.